Welcome back to the Saturday weekend vlogs. I don't know how good this one's gonna be because as you can probably tell right now, I'm I'm not feeling very well. I've got probably the worst sore throat that I've ever had in my life. So I'm just trying to get through that. I wasn't gonna make a video this weekend, but I did make a commitment to you that I would make a video, at least one video every weekend, and I'm gonna do that today because I actually have some work to do, and that is to take care of the chicken coop again. I have to say I picked a pretty rotten day to be sick and to be outside because it's freezing out here, but I had to get this done today. And if you remember my shed, it was a bit of a hoard before. It's still, I still have as much stuff, but it's organized. I just have to get back there to grab that uh, chicken bedding that's back there. So uh, just gotta do some creative stepping here. No problem. So when it's winter time and it's snowing out, my chickens, they tend not to want to come outside, which leaves them inside the coop all day. When they stay in the coop all day, they poop all day. And this is kind of what it turns into. You can see just how much uh, chicken poops everywhere. So I'm gonna clean this all out here today, put some fresh stuff in there for them so they can live nice little happy lives out here. That's our ultimate goal. This door right here is a little tricky. Usually it tends to fall off if you're too rough with it. So try to go real easy here. Now it's time for the fun part. Look at this. What's going on, Roxy Bear? What are you doing? There's a bubba girl. Here. Give. Anyway, there's batch one. I gotta take this down and dump it, and we're gonna do it all over again right after that. That lid, when it's up like that, just catches a wind, and I came home one time, and this thing was all the way tilted over, and the chickens were outside. It was a little scary, so you gotta be careful. That's why I keep that cinder block on top there. Uh, my roof came down a little bit, but the inside here you can see that I got it all done. As good as it's gonna get for right now, it's winter time. I'm just trying to get this done before I freeze to death. So it's not absolutely perfect, but it's good enough for chicken standards. So I'm gonna dump this and we're gonna put the bedding in again. Look at Roxy waiting here. She just sits by her ball, waiting patiently. You're such a good girl. There you go, you can watch Roxy lay here while I go down and dump this. That'll probably be more interesting. Hey, stay there, you gotta stay in the shot. Come here, you gotta stay in the shot so they can watch. I can't move the camera when I'm not here. I can't, I can't do it. Here, I wanna show you guys something. I don't know if I ever showed this to you before. Uh, we gotta, let's move this up a little bit so you can see. And we'll zoom out a little bit too. What I wanna demonstrate for you here, this is how you gotta pet a lab. If you have a lab, this is how they wanna be petted. Come here, right like this. Put them right there, get their booty right here, and they love it, they love it. They come back through, come here, come here. How do you want to be petted? Come here. That's what they love, right there. You gotta really, you gotta give them like that. Yeah, you like that, don't you? So now you learn, that's how you pet a lab. So if you ever get a lab, you know how to pet them properly. Now I'm hoping that I have enough of this. Usually I use more than one bag. This bag's not even entirely full. So we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. That's it, all gone. You see them over here inspecting my work. They're very critical of their coop. Actually worked out better than I thought it would. That's not so bad. Looks good, I love that nice clean coop. 
hate the storm. <laughs> And just like that, we're done. Coop's back to good. One thing I am noticing here, if you take a look at that cinder block right there, look at that bow that's starting to flex into that because of that weight. I'm thinking maybe I should get two cinder blocks, one for that side and then one for that side to evenly distribute it. But right now I only have one, so that's gonna be a project for a future weekend vlog, I guess. In filming that last little sequence there, I broke my number one rule of chicken making videos, and that is make sure you close the coop door because right now four or five of my chickens are outside and I have to somehow coax them back in here. So uh, you gotta be very careful. Be very slow, you don't wanna startle them. Always go to the outside ones. And then you kinda just, you, you kinda just gotta skirt them back in there. Hey, get back in there, go on, go on. Scare them in with this, go on, go on. Crisis averted. You know I gotta get the official review. What do you guys think? You love it? One last thing before we wrap this up, I know there's some big Mellow Cat fans, and what do you know it? She's out here in the woods. Mellow Cat! Kitty, 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 kitty. See if I can coax her out here. Probably not. I don't even know if you can see her. She's in there rubbing that stick. Here she comes. Come here, Mellow Cat. There's a baby. There's a baby. There you go, you got a little bit of mellow in today's video. Do you wanna go inside and get a treat? Come on, let's go get a treat. Now that I'm back inside where it's warm, I'll put an end on this video. I wanna thank you for watching. I'm sorry this one's a little bit shorter than what my usual weekend vlogs are. I'm just trying to get through this whole throat and chest thing that I have going on right now. I'm pretty sure that I got it from Clark, man, because he was sick last week after he went to the doctor's office. And he didn't go to the doctor because he was sick, he just was going for a checkup. But you know how kids are, they go into the waiting room, they play the toys there, which other sick kids have played with. They got it, and then I got it even worse. So that's where we're at on that. I also wanna finish out by thanking my two newest patrons, we have Ellie and we also have Johan, which is really awesome. Two new patrons added on this week. I want to thank you guys so much for, for coming on there. And I want to mention, I, I actually spoke to Johan. We messaged back and forth a little bit. He's actually from Sweden, so it's pretty cool. I'm here in Pennsylvania making videos. We have people all the way across the world watching. He said he's trying to get through my whole catalog of videos, which I told him I, I feel sorry for him watching those early ones because they were pretty rough. But he's all the way up to summer 2016, and I told him he's about ready to go into the 100 days in a, or 100 videos in a 100 days series so he's gonna have his his hands full for a little bit and uh, to put your contributions and your uh, patronage to work here's what I bought I got myself some Robitussin uh, cough and chest congestion and I got some Hall's cough drops which I used a little bit earlier and uh, all I can say is cheers to Ellie and Johan thank you so much and if you want to join my patreon page I'll put a link below thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video